Hello guys, this is Mrunal Deshpande. Today I am going to explain RIP that is Routing Information Protocol using Cisco Packet Tracer. So this Cisco Packet Tracer is basically a software which is used for designing various topologies in networking. So we will start with the topology. First of all I will tell you these, these are various sections here. This section is for various devices. This section is for various cables to connect various devices. So let's start. So we'll take three generic routers here. We have to just drag and drop. That's it. We'll take three switches connected to three different routers. And three computers to connect three different switches. Just now I am using one computer for each switch. You can make use of more than one too. So we have taken all the devices. So we have to establish connection between them. To connect, make use of this general cable. To connect router and switch. Router and switch and switch and PC. Accordingly. So basically, if you want to connect two different devices, use general. But if you want to connect same devices like router and router, as this is the case here. So you can make use of copper crossover cable or serial DC or serial DT. Serial DC means data control equipment and serial DT means serial data transmission equipment. So we'll make use of serial DT cable to connect two routers. Similarly, second and third router. So we have established connection between each and every topology. So now we have to assign IP addresses. First of all, I'll tell you what networks we are using. This is class A network. 20.20.20.0 This is 30.30.30.0 This is will make use of class B network 170.16.1.0 And this will make use of class C network 192.168.1.0 Okay, fine so now we have to assign IP addresses for computers, right? So go to computer, go to desktop, IP address, IP configuration. We have to give IP address here. So this is as this is train network, as this is train network, IP address will be 10.10.10.2. Subnet, subnet mask will be automatically default. Then gateway will be 10.10.10.1. We'll give that to router. Similarly, router, go to configuration mode. Go to serial 2, uh, sorry, fast ethernet 00. zero. So it will be 172 dot, sorry, 10 dot, 10 dot, 10 dot 1. And subnet mask will be default. So make on here. Then as these cables are here, we have to go to serial 2. Make on it. Then make it on. Then assign IP address 172.16.1. 1.1 and subnet mask will be default for class B. Okay, so this is for router 1. Similarly, we have to configure PC 1. Likewise, desktop, IP configuration, IP address is 20.20.20.2. Subnet mask will be default. Then default gateway will be 20.20.20.1. Similarly, for router. 
फोटो कॉन्फ़िगरेशन मोड एफ ए फास्ट इंटरनेट जीरो स्लैश जीरो आई पी एड्रेस विल बी ट्वेंटी डॉट ट्वेंटी डॉट ट्वेंटी डॉट वन डिफॉल्ट सबनेट मास्क मेक इट ऑन देन हियर सीरियल टू जीरो इज कनेक्टेड फॉर लेफ्ट नेटवर्क सो सीरियल टू जीरो गो टू सीरियल टू जीरो एंड गिव वन सेवेंटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी सॉरी वन सिक्स डॉट वन डॉट टू एज वी हैव असाइन वन डॉट वन फॉर दैट नेटवर्क वी हैव टू गिव वन डॉट टू फॉर दिस नेटवर्क सब नेट मास्क विल बी डिफॉल्ट Similarly for this, so here link were red, links were red, but just now we have assign IP, so this is up now. So we have to assign for serial three. Likewise, make it on. It will be one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one, and subnet mask will be default. So this is for router one. This is router zero. This is router one, and this is router two. So similarly for PC two, go to desktop IP, then thirty dot thirty dot thirty dot two subnet mask. Default gateway will be thirty dot thirty dot thirty dot one. Okay. Then go to router two. See here. Fast Ethernet zero zero, make it on, so that link will be up. So this is thirty dot thirty dot thirty dot one. Default subnet mask will be there, and this is serial three cable. This is so make it on, and IP will be one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two because we have assigned one dot one. We have assigned one dot one here, so one dot two is here. So all the links are up now, which which were turned from red to green. So, but still, if you want to ping a message from PC zero to PC one, PC two, it will not be successful because we have not assigned any routing protocol. So let's see. Yeah, but this is the section where message can be sent from one PC to another PC. This is PC. This is PC two. It will be failed. So as we have not assigned any routing protocol, it will not be successful. So so here we use routing protocol RIP. So routing information protocol. So for that, click on router. Go to CLI mode. So we have to. Type commands. So exit from here, then type router RIP because as we are using routing information protocol as routing protocol. So we are now in configuration router protocol router mode. So here network. We as we are in router zero, networks are ten dot ten dot ten dot zero. Yeah, so this the one condition you have to remember is in this network you just have to give network ID not IP address. Similarly, this router has two different connections. So same one seventy two dot sixteen dot one dot zero. Okay, that's it. So we told this router that two networks are connected. We we told this router that two networks are connected to this router. So this is the one network and this is another network. Similarly, as we have configured for router one, go to router two, CLI mode. Same commands you have to type. First, exit from the current status. Then router RIP. Then network. So, network ID for this network is twenty dot twenty dot twenty dot zero. Then, second network is 
left sided network that is 172.16.1.0 and third network is right sided network that is 192.168.1.0 so links are up now okay so similarly for router 3 go to CLI mode same things you have to repeat because we have taken three routers router RIP network so basically for this network is network ID is 30.30.30.0 second network ID is 192.168.1.0 okay so that's it so we have assigned everything we have told every router that how many networks are connected to respective respective router and we have given network IDs for these networks for those routers. So let's ping message. First of all, it will be failed due to some network connections. Wait. See, it is going to be successful. In the same way, from PC0 to PC2, successful. From PC1 to PC2, yeah, it is successful. So, let's check for every possible case. PC0 to router, it will be successful. PC0 to router 1, wait, yes, PC0 to router 1. It is successful. PC1 to router 0. It is also successful. So, I am trying for every possible situation. So, this is what we get the output. So, here we used a routing information protocol to have different connections. Means, it exchanges routing information between routers dynamically. And it uses broadcast it uses broadcast to share information, to share routing information. So, this is what we achieved today. So, we can make use of any number of PCs. Just now, I have used one PC for each switch. You can make use of more than one PC. No problem. So, thank you. I hope this will be understood by you. Thank you.